Hello, Savers, and welcome. My name is Savar24, and today I'm going to be continuing that man, the Telltale Games. And I did not beat him half to death. We already went over this last time. And neither did I. I did what I had to. I did what you had to, but at what cost? We both know how this argument goes, especially now during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway. It made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Yep. Evil never rests. So let's see what the bat computer has it Looks for us. like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. Ooh. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Blackmail. Illegal arms stealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. And it goes back years. Dang. Do you see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Wow. <sighs> He's worried. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Yeah, but the people Lieutenant around him, we Gordon. can't. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. So on one situation, we can either give it to Vicki Vale and allow her to report it through proper channels and the news, or give it to James Gordon, the do-right cop who has to try and do his best in order to support the uh, situation for Gotham. In all honesty, if I give it to Commissioner Gordon, he could possibly it could possibly end up lost because of the corrupt cops around him. If I give it to Vicky Vale, she'll do what she must, but it's also going to put her in danger, and that's a risk. But is it a risk I'm willing to take? There's a lot of situations that would go into this, but I'm giving it to Vicky. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. Hmm. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. Exactly. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and, and Batman, Batman by any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. <laughs> no one has ever managed to bring him down. Batman hasn't I tried. I haven't tried yet. <laughs> exactly, right there. Batman hasn't tried yet. So we're going to be taking down Falcone in this episode.
This, this is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's gonna be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. I need an ally in the press. After handing me something like this? I'd say you got one for life. <laughs> Falcone's slippery, but this is enough to hang him out to dry. What this could do for the city, my career, I'm just wondering what the cost is gonna be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. Mm -hmm. The next time my name appears in the media, it, God, it might be an obituary. Falcone has a way of handling reporters he doesn't like. I could be putting myself in real danger by trying to expose him. I'll protect I'll you. I'll protect you, I promise. <laughs> Chivalrous, but unnecessary. You're not a... Batman. <laughs> you have no idea. I always think, crime in the city, it's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head. Three more appear in its place. I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. But who's even capable of that? If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Wouldn't be the first time. I trust Gordon. Lieutenant Gordon. He has his badge in the right place. Yeah, well, I hope that's enough. Sometimes the rest of the force, they... They have their own agenda. Yep. Yeah. It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. See ya, Vicky! It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. No way! I thought that was just a standard Lamborghini. That's actually his Batmobile? Oh, that is awesome! Better hope nobody sees that. Good lord, that thing's got a rough ride, doesn't it? And it's also got thrusters propelling it forward. Like, is that really necessary? <laughs> oh man. Oh, that kite. Hydro. Drones, cameras, and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. All right, let's see what we got. Let's find Falcone. There's the balcony. Good point of entry. Patrons? Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. Uh. Crooks in various places, I tell you. <laughs> tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. I'm guessing he's so, saying uh, the mafia. You alone? Not anymore, I'm not. You make your round? Yeah. No broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. Mm, all it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder at night. The whole city can smell it. No broken bones, huh? There's gonna be some broken bones when I get in there. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. Ooh. Nothing here. That's the most heavily 
guarded door in the building. That's where it's gonna be. be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Yeah. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. All right. So what do we got here? A couple of options for taking this guy down. So let's see. The hanging light. So I can either drop the light on his head or throw the modern art at him. Throw the art. Large solid cube shaped in piece of ceramic and metal. Ow, that's gonna hurt. Okay, this guy. Okay, so... I can either slam his face in the coffee table or throw him through the folding screen. Lunge at him and then throw him through. Oh gosh. <laughs> then there's this guy. So I can either slam him into the staircase or into the marble pillar. Oh, um, pillar, stairs, pillar, st uh, stairs, pillar. I don't know. Pillar. Slam his face into the pillar. Oh God, that's not gonna be. That's not gonna be nice. Oh yeah, he's out. He's gonna be out like a light. Now all that's left is the guy in the staircase. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered out. I can either link to the upper balcony or the balcony rail. Will I throw him over the balcony railing? Uh, let's go to the upper balcony because I think I'll just jump down on him. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. Oh, yeah. Oh, QTEs. Better be prepared. Yeah. You think that's gonna 
for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Yeah, you're not gonna get me that easily. The Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham? What? Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicky Vale, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. The Wayne family. Uh -oh. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. What do you mean? Malcolm's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. I did and not shake his hand. That's Wayne BS. Wayne fired back saying, This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. 
In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. No, it's not. It's just beginning. Because I had nothing to do with Carmine Falcone. I rejected him at every possible chance. Suit. Car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Shocking development and revelation. Things are not as they seem. 1.6, Family Secrets, Episode 1, Realm of Shadows. Did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? 36.7% of the players shut Harvey out of the party. Ah, oh, crap, I should have let him in, shouldn't I? Alright. Did you provide the, a quote for Vicky's story? Yes, I did, as did most of everybody. Holy crap. Oh, man. And then there was, did you break the Doc's shooter's arm? What? That's a 50-50 split. Holy crap. I guess it really wouldn't have made too big a difference, but... Wow. That's pretty even split right there. That's ridiculous. Who did you give the Falcone data to? I gave it to Vicky. Uh, a lot of everybody else, though, gave it to Commissioner Gordon. Holy Jesus. Uh, and then there was... How did Batman deal with Falcone at the end? Most people hung him out to dry. Everybody else brutalized him. Oh my gosh, there's nearly 20% of the people who brutalized him. Gosh, that's a sixth of, I think, the sixth or the eighth? Um, I'm, whatever it is, I think it's an eighth. But still, that many people just brutalized him like that. Oh gosh. Ugh. Good lord. I'm gonna share all my choices just because... Just, just, just put the... Oh, come on. Really? I don't have one. I don't care to have one. Oh, well. But yeah, so far that was chapter one. I'm kind of curious as to what happens with chapter two. And I really haven't put a lot of time into this episode so far. So, we're gonna continue straight into the when next chapter. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son... And their secrets. I would never betray them. Okay. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. That scoop you brought me on Falcone helped me more than you could possibly know. I owe you one. I'm sure Falcone's taken harder beatings in the past. Hopefully, this one knocks something useful out of him. We'll find out. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Uh, don't miss out. I... I should have the entire experience, shouldn't I? I forgot that Telltale Games only, uh... Shoots out episodes periodically, so I forgot that this was whole part of their little setup things. So, I do have the whole game, but I will not be able to play it for quite some time. So for now, I'm going to have to just end the episode here, even though I don't really want to. But, I hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far, because it is really good. But thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I cannot talk. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Leave a comment in the section below and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.